Hi guys, we're back. Um, continuing with George R. number 187. We'll start with these two necklaces. We have this one and that one. And this one is got a button clasp. It looks like coconut shell and coconut beads. Not sure what the white ones are. This necklace is 16 and a half inches. It has a little cross on it. This is 1987. Um, arrow, which is not American Eagle, it's uh, Arrow Postal or something like that. Um, we will do this one for two dollars. This one has Peace, Hope, Love, and Joy, both sides. Nice black ribbon and cord. Lobster claw clasp. Metal's in good shape on that. And we'll do this one for two. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'll be crying out loud. Okay. Oh, let's do these. This one's very cool. This is a vintage enameled, so it's going to have some wear on it. It's a fold over clasp. It's like little daisies, but I love the center stones in this. They're kind of a opaque, like a slight mint green to them to me. You may not think so, but under the slights that I'm under. And there you can see it, it looks kind of blue versus green. Love this. I think it's very cool. Um, I'm trying to undo it so I can measure it. If you like vintage, you'll like this bracelet. It is seven inches. Let me show you the back. It's in very good shape considering it is marked. I don't know that I can read it. Cabby? I don't know. Let's see, it's one's marked on this side too. Let's see if it's any better, easier to read. Celebrity? Yep, celebrity. So, yeah, that is vintage. We'll do that for 10. It's marked celebrity. I think it's in pretty good shape. It's got a little bit of wear on these flowers here. That's where you hit it, you know, with your arm. But not much. So the enameling on that is very good because that's very vintage. The next one is a little stretchy. It doesn't stretch much. It stretches enough, I guess, to get it on. I'm not sure. Oh, oh, I got a cramp in the hand. Wow. Yowza. Yeah, you saw that one, didn't you? Mm-hmm. Well, I can't get it on. I'm not going to try. So, I don't know. You might have to redo it to make it stretch more to get it on. But it's beautiful cat's eye in pink and little pink pearls, faux pearls. And we will do this one for $3. Very pretty. This one are your um, 
dyed mother pearl shell with gold beads. This bead has a little wear on it. We'll do this one for a dollar. We have this one with the faux pearl, the little crystals. Um, lobster claw class. We'll do that for two dollars. I will measure it for you. It is seven inches. And we have this on Little Sky and that on Big Sky. It's an elephant. Silver tone. Nice glass pendant. There's the back. Nice cord and ribbon. Necklace, extender, I mean, yeah, extender with the lobster claw. This necklace is 18 inches. And that's a very large, pretty glass, art glass piece on that. It is 3 inches. And across it is inch and five eighths. And we will do this for four dollars. It's beautiful. The next one is our elephant necklace. Let's look at our elephant first. It's got a little rhinestone eye, his trunk is up. Like the cutout look up here. His ears. Here's the other side. Has his rhinestone in his other eye. I love. I like the chain. That's uh, the curved chain with the bead, beaded stations. Like that look a lot. You have a lobster claw clasp with an extender with a bead on the end. And it is Mark Charm and Charlie. And we'll do this one for $5. It's very cute. Let me give you a length on it. It is 32 inches. And it's 2 inches. I don't know if she said it was. Just bag it. Okay, we're going to put this necklace here in the hobby lot. You see where the bead has fallen down, so you, it's not stationed right. But it's a pretty necklace. We're going to put that in the hobby lot. And this Hobby Lot here is full, so we're starting a new Hobby Lot with Jewelry Jar 187. And uh, if you want this one, you can claim it anytime. See, the last uh, video we did with this before Jar 80, 187 was Box 98, right? Never mind, honey. Don't even think. Did it, is it written on the front? Huh? Is it written on the front anywhere? Oh, here we go. Yeah, box 96 through 98. Let me put 98 on there. So if you want to kind of see what's in it. I always tried to add some more when I go to pack it at the last minute. If I have room in the box, I'll add more. That's this one. You want it. Give me the timestamp in this video. Uh, 
Okay, our new bag. I'm going to start with this necklace here. And it's got nice bindings on it. And the only thing that's wrong if you got these little clamper things to make that one bead stay at the right station. Now let me see if I can find it. Again. It's on the side right over here, I thought. Yeah, right, right here. There. Right there. See, that's not supposed to... It's got too much of a blank space there. So anyway, that's going in there. Our first item in there. Okay, our next item is a pink acrylic bracelet. I think it's acrylic. Yeah. Very pretty color. Hot pink. We'll do that for two. We have a awareness. I don't know what this color is for. I know they have different colors for different things. Silver beaded stretchy bracelet. It's in very good shape. It's not magnetic. It's not going to rub, so I'm not going to try to rub it. We'll do that one for two. And we have this one. That's got black enamel with a black rhinestone in the center. Very filigree looking. Let's see if I can get it to where you can really see. It's very pretty. We'll do this one for three. Sure. Oh, I felt something fall. Huh. Well, I don't know. there is. A heart necklace. I think on a velvet cord. Yeah. And then a beautiful shell necklace beaded. It's very pretty. Almost looks like it's pewter. Yeah, it's not magnetic. I don't think it's silver. I think it's pewter. Here's your, um, Lobster claw clasp and your extender. I'm just straightening it out because it was doing all kind of twisty things. Very pretty little pendant. Here's the back. I don't see any marks. I'm going to have to look though just in case I'm missing something. The length on it is 19 inches, fully extended. We do that one for three. <laughs> okay. Here's a very thick shell. Not very thick, but nice and thick. Natural, in its natural state. Nice complimentary little seed beads to this with the white. I think these are acrylic beads. And these are glass beads, little seed beads. Lobster claw clasp. I'll measure it. It is. 18 inches and we'll do that pretty necklace for three dollars and we have this one here that is magnetic and it's got the little pink stones. We'll, and it's premier design. We'll do it for two. I believe this is leather, pink leather. It is two and three quarters across. And one and a half like this.
And then we have this one with a little heart and that I think that can maybe clean off. Let me see. Maybe not. Or maybe it's just being stubborn. I don't know. Or maybe this towel's had it. Well, it's coming off some. Let me try something here. These uh, cloths here that I keep, they're alcohol cloths, and they feel so good. When you've been handling so much jewelry that needs cleaning, I do clean the jewelry before I ship it out, unless it's a lot, and I tell you I'm not going to, so. Um, let's see. Sometimes you can't clean it without getting this gunk off first. So this is just a little bit of uh, showing you what's going on on my end. What is that? A magnet. Now, that, some of that's probably from my fingers, not just the bracelet. You don't realize how dirty your fingers get, and, and you keep showing and showing and showing, and or, or detangling, or whatever you're doing. And everybody on the video is looking at your fingers and going, oh, gross. Yeah. You might need a new one though. No, this is just perfect. Okay, I still got a little wear on here. And I don't know if it's going to come off now. Maybe it will that I've cleaned it. This is why my fingers cramp up, because I do this stuff. That's why I don't do the polishing, guys. I just can't handle it. Okay, you see how nice that cleaned up? I mean, it's still got some places like here I didn't get to. There you go. So it will clean up. There's the little heart. Now here's the other side. This I've rubbed some more on that, but not enough, I guess. Edge too. Let me get that edge. can see it's eventually kind of coming off. And I'm using those uh, sunshine cloths. And you can tell I've, this one's lost some of its zing, I think. It's lost its zing! Mm -hmm. Like in Hotel Transylvania. That's a kid's show. It's a cute one, too. Okay, there you go. It's 
about as good as I'm going to get it for now. The rest of the bracelet's in excellent condition. I'm trying to see if there was any writing on here. Let me loop it. Nope, don't see any writing. But anyway, this is a cute bracelet. Let me measure it. It's a premier design. So it's not silver, but it can be polished. It is um, let's not do the toggle. Seven and a half. We'll do this one for four dollars. It's very cute. Okay. Wait a minute, honey. I gotta have a, another alcohol wipe for me. Uh, you need anything else? Sure. What? You need this? Oh no, I'm good. Okay. Well, I'm not. Feels better. Of course, it dries my hands out too. But it's needed. Okay, here we go. Get on with it, Robin. Here's our next two necklaces. We have this flower wired necklace and this cute animal print or tone color necklace. It's not really wire, it's like a little plastic. And it's got a little lobster claw clasp, pink flowers. We'll do this one for a dollar. We have two bracelets here. One of them has little star like pieces with medallions in the middle. We're going to put that in the kids' lot and we're going to start a new kids' lot. I think. No, here it is. I'll add it to the one I got. And then we have this one that looks like faux pearl and crystals, definitely. I don't know if those are faux. I think those may be freshwater pearls. The clasp is marked 925. I don't know that you're going to see it, but we're going to try. Almost. Um, there you go. 925. And let's measure it. This is 7 inches long. We'll do it for $9. Here's our next two necklaces. We have a braided corded cat's eye necklace. And oh I didn't show I already showed that one. Oh, I'm all messed up. Here's your gold tone clasp. And these beads are I'm not sure what they're made out of. Shell chips, wood, painted, um, dyed animal colored. Mother Pearl Disc. These are, I'm not sure, they're acrylic of some type. Little coin pieces. Looks brass and copper. It's not magnetic, so it's probably brass and copper. Shell nugget here. Shell chip there. Nuggets and chips and little disc and all kind of fun pieces on this one. It is 32 inches in length and we'll do it for five dollars. Next thing I'm going to show you is a bookmark the cross crucifix 
There's the other end of it for your Bible or any other book that you've got. Um, and we'll do that one for two dollars. I have another bookmarker. This one's got Dream with the ribbon and the little butterfly at the end. We'll do this one for two dollars. Here's our brown cat's eye. There's the back. Smart something. SM, I think, maybe. Let's see. SH. I don't know who SH is. This is stiffer. I don't know if it's um, faux leather or leather. And then there's your clasp. We'll do this one for two. We have this blue graduated bead acrylic necklace. Lobster claw clasp and extender. Looks like part of it's broke off here. Maybe it's double double done. No, it's only one on this one too. So it's just off centered. Anyway, we're gonna do this necklace for two dollars. And I'm gonna measure it. And you're going to sit there and look at me, aren't you? Mm hmm It's 20 inches. What did I say, $2? You did. I wrote it down first. Very beautiful. Thank you, honey. Mm-hmm. Okay. The next one we have is donut, donut, shark teeth, and shell chips. And then we have a very classic silver tone necklace that we go from beach to the office here's your shit here's your shark's teeth white shell lobster claw clasp I guess that's a shark's teeth oh yeah that's looks like a shark's tooth to me pretty much okay it is, well, 17 inches, probably a little longer. Let me undo it and measure it out straight. What did I say, 17 inches? 17 mm -hmm. and a half inches. We'll do that for three. Very cool. And we'll go to our classic necklace. This is a vintage necklace. It's got a hook clasp. I don't think that's anything on there. Extender with the bead. Hearts. I've never seen that before. And you saw how pretty it lays around the neck. Perfect for Valentine's Day. Dress up place. Love it. We'll do this one for eight dollars. Figure this one out, huh? Well, I mean, I could figure it out. I just can't get it to go. Okay, here's our next two necklaces. We have this one on Little Sky. Love that one. And then we have this multi-stranded, double-stranded. Faux pearl and metal beads and so forth on this necklace. This has got a lobster claw clasp. These are glass beads here on the end. And then you have these blue and white. And I'm not sure what these are. They're bone or what. But I love the floral design. This must be some kind of clay bead. Just love the blues on this nice beachy um, summer necklace. 
not overdone, not heavy, nice and cool for the summer. It's 17 inches. We'll do it for three. You could even put a pretty pendant on that, probably, if you wanted to. Uh-oh, yeah, we have a little cracking on that. Hmm. I'm going to change that because I found the crack in here and put that in the hobby lot. Very pretty beads. Okay, guys, i got to go answer the phone, and we'll be back to show you more. Talk to you later. Bye.